We are a pan-Asian restaurant, so I wanted a global Asian menu plus a flair of some French uh, background. My background, my, my Shanghainese background in China, we don't have spicy, spicy food a lot. I still have a few dishes that are really, really spicy. I'm on the other hand like a mellow touch to the food. We have Jerry Kleiner flamboyant atmosphere, and uh, we have great service, and we have great food. So you have sight, smell, and your taste. They all blend in together. That's how I like red light presented to you. So Kevin, red light certainly is a visual feast. Tell us why you chose it. Yeah, in part because of its visual beauty, but also it's just a relaxed, chill, but hip, urban atmosphere. When you walk in, I think you feel like you are in a jazz club, maybe. Something like the Hot House, mm -hmm. but uh, with really exquisite food, uh, tastes and spices that you're not going to find, I think, elsewhere. Especially the mix. It's real eclectic, not only visually, but also what you're going to find uh, on your plate. And I think it's a place you could bring anyone. Now, Reda, you went there for lunch, correct? Yes, but I didn't find it as hip and because it was pretty quiet. It's like I've never been in a restaurant that looks like this before. And it was a nice look, you know, but it was just different. So what makes a restaurant hip? They've been conscious about creating mm. a different world. Not Alice in Wonderland necessarily, <laughs> but, um, but definitely a, they, try to, they're very, you know, they try to create a nice space. And I think also that, you know, hip also has to do with, you know, uh, the look of the people that go there, how many cocktails they've had, <laughs> uh, depending what on cocktails? what kind of cocktails, <laughs> what time of the night it is. Right, right, right. And then you see that it gets hipper and hipper, that the movement, the flow, the, the body language, and, uh, and so forth. Uh, I always you know, put the blame on, 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 on the wonderful Cosmos that they sell there <laughs> right. and the great martinis. What is it about holding a triangle of a pink beverage that makes you just kind of feel, I don't know. <laughs> no, I have my own interpretation. But I'm going to keep it to myself. Yeah. It's just, you know, it's, 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 it's a little, you know, it's a little bit of balance or lack of balance, you know, with a yeah, good yeah, smile yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and you just drink up, you know. Okay, guys, I have your lobster mango rolls right here. Well, tell us about the food. What's the food like? It's Pan-Asian, but what elements do you enjoy about it? Well, I'm, I'm vegetarian, and so, uh, you know, for years now, they've had a specific vegetarian menu. Um, so not only can you go in and have a nice salad and sides that are delicious, but they also have, you know, maybe seven, eight dishes that are specifically geared towards vegetarians. I ate the lobster roll, the five spice ribs, the prawns, the wrinkled green beans. Oh, you had a good time. Plenty, and yeah, the chocolate, <laughs> the banana coconut cream pie. All right, all right. Now, yes. you make pies. Yes, I do. And you're famous for your pies. Yes, Did I do. Did the banana cream pie live up to your expectations? It was. I just love the bananas foster thing on the bottom. I just thought, I just thought the whole concept with my pie comes like this. Mm -hmm. And this pie was like the, the, it was a bowl. The graham cracker crust was a bowl. Okay. And it seemed like they had the custard inside. And I swore it was like freshly shredded. Mm -hmm freshly toasted coconut, and then they had the bananas foster and that coconut sorbet on the side. I mean, it was, everything was just fabulous. We, we decided to go with, for three totally different things, to see how consistent the kitchen was going to be in terms of delivering, mm -hmm. because even though it's Pan-Asian, within that you have mm -hmm. very different, in fact, we, they have the soups, which you can have in between, the, well, whenever you want, but really we had it between the, the appetizer and the main course, so those are like, so it plays a role that a sorbet plays in some other places where you have, in a way, although this was no sorbet, because it was coconut <laughs> broth with seafood. And it comes in a large bowl, well-priced, with these tiny little cups. 
we had um, the string beans, uh, some roasted garlic, and then it's in a sweet sauce as well mm -hmm. that are delicious. <laughs> yum, yum. They have a side of potatoes as well that, that are outstanding. But I just, I, I'm just so happy that a restaurant is considerate of people who maybe don't eat meat. Mm -hmm. and, and, um, and also, it's, 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 so they have this vegetarian menu, but uh, I could take my dad for a pork chop too. Yeah. Luisa, you obviously enjoyed the coconut soup. What else did you eat? I had a sable and miso glaze, mm. which was really like moist, I mean, cooked to perfection. My partner went for the classic Peking duck. Mm -hmm. This was like moist, um, fanned out, mm -hmm. very, very nice, very, very good. And then we topped it off with a chocolate bag, oh. Oh. which was <laughs> a big surprise. I mean, this is an actual little chop, little bag made out of chocolate mm -hmm. with berries and cream. Mm. And uh, a beauty, I mean, and also simple. I mean, <laughs> truly too much. That oh, kind of, no, 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 no. Big enough Just to once, share, though. Uh, once in a lifetime, <laughs> yeah. probably. But very good. Well, Kevin, uh, Red Light was your pick. Give us a summary. Uh, delicious food, beautiful presentation, and a very nice urban environment to be with friends or a date. Louise? I, I concur, definitely. Uh, uh, eclectic, fun, uh, uh, interesting and phenomenal food, definitely a must go back. And Brenda? It's also like you, a must go back, but I guess I'll have to try it for dinner because it, my, my lunchtime thing, it was pretty quiet in there, but it was, I, we I tell everybody, you gotta go to Red Light, you gotta go to this place to eat. It's really very good. Well, you can try Jackie Shen's Creative Cuisine at Red Light, 820 West Randolph, 312-733-8880. Open for lunch and dinner Monday through Friday and dinner only on Saturday and Sunday. Reservations are accepted and the average dinner tab per person without drinks is $55. Mm -hmm.